the consequences of sexual activity are more severe amongst the poor than the rich. According to the World Health Organization, this is probably due to many social factors preventing them from accessing information and services. The World Health Organization says that poor people have more children than rich people. When we look at the outcome of unsafe sex, like HIV, like sexually transmitted disease, like uh, teenage pregnancies, then we see there is a huge difference. That the poor section of the, uh, the teen uh, teenage people has got more of this. HIV is higher, prevalence is higher. If you look at uh, sexually transmitted diseases, that is higher. If you look at the teenage pregnancy, it's also higher. Often in rich families, a female gives birth to a first child when she's 30 years old and older, whilst those in poor communities have already given birth by the age of 18. The poor section of people and the rich section of the people, the sexual behavior pattern is almost the same. However, the consequence of unsafe sex or unprotected sex is much more higher on the poor section than the rich section. Sometimes the healthcare providers put their own judgment, moral judgment, to if a young girl comes and say that, look, can I have some condoms? The healthcare provider will say, no, you're too young, you should not have that, and they do not give. About 27.6% of households are classified as poor in Namibia, and poverty is especially rife in the rural areas of the country.